An Alaska Airlines flight brought the writer home after 20 years in exile. The 75 year old took his first steps on Russian soil when his plane stopped to refuel in Magadan, close to the site of some of the most notorious prison camps, which he wrote about in his work, The Gulag Archipelago. He said that in a period of political change, it's important that people do not forget about the victims of the labor camps. Solzhenitsyn himself spent eight years in the Gulag, and it was after he won the Nobel Prize for Literature for his chronicle of suffering in the camps that he was arrested on treason charges. He was expelled from the country and was taken by train under KGB guard to Germany. He lived for a time in Switzerland before settling in the States. The writer made only rare public appearances, but used those occasions to condemn the Soviet regime. Solzhenitsyn is now going to travel by train to his new home in Moscow, says he has no plans to enter politics, but he says he hopes to have some influence on the future of Russia. Я предупреждал и писал, что выход из коммунизма будет очень опасен, очень тяжелый. Может быть, удастся как-то выйти лучшим образом. Он начался, если начался считать с 85 года, самым идиотским, самым неуклюжим, самым ужасным, самым вредным способом. И мы сумели после всего ужаса коммунизма навредить сами себе еще вот в эти годы. Вовсе не частую в сегодняшнее наше время. Правильно здесь Бог кто-то назвал переломным, а перелом всегда тяжел, всякий перелом.